Hey everybody, Dr. Carl here. In this class, in REM 410 and 520, we spend a lot of time talking about the indicators and the methods, and that's the what you're going to measure and how you're going to measure it to do monitoring or research or any other data collection. But a really big part of this, an important part that we're going to spend some time talking about at the beginning is the where are you going to measure those. And loosely, that's what we would refer to as a sampling design. Now, I'm down here at the Craig Mountain Wildlife Management Area south of Lewiston, Idaho, and you can see this is a vast landscape. And so if there was a resource concern that you had or you needed to monitor something, where are you going to go in this landscape to do that? Are you going to pick areas that are close to the road? Are you going to pick areas that are far away from the road? And in this case, this is a really rugged landscape, so accessibility is a problem. And all those things have to come together to inform your sampling design and to help you figure out that really important question of where are you going to take your measurements? Because at the end of the day, having really great measurements and really great methods won't get you anything if you don't have the data from the right places in order to answer the questions that you have.